Welcome to Ballhead and Metal, guys, and welcome back to another Arch Enemy reaction with a new album soon coming out and a new single, Sunset Over the Empire. I'm still excited despite all my commentary that I have on Arch Enemy, whether it was positive and some was negative. I'm going to decide to do something different for this reaction. I'm not going to mention all the things I've already mentioned, negative things, or even positive things I mentioned in the last couple of reactions to the singles they've released. I'm just going to sit down and see how do I feel about this song and what it made me feel and if it made me feel anything at all in the sense that I was excited to hear more. Let's jump in with that kind of mentality because I feel like sometimes it'll come off a little bit negative and I personally don't like it. I don't want to just shit on bands. So I, I felt like I might have been a little bit harsh. Uh, let's see what this is all about. Welcome to the apocalypse. The end of days. Rulers of the wasteland. Rejoice in the flames. Futures tumble. Legacies crumble. Thousands of years. And what have we lost? Interesting riffing in the beginning with the, the changes with the fast to the kind of slower and, and this kind of change up in the rhythm that they're doing is interesting. And I think this might be the harshest vocals from uh, at least that, that I've heard so far within the new singles and the new album. Is going to be a nice switch if I know it in the song. Uh, I think I might like this actually the most out of all the singles they've released so far. This I think might be my favorite uh, because of the heaviness. I like the heaviness of the song. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to break my promise here. There is a... Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've said in the past. The idea that I feel like Arch Enemy went into more of a... I want to say commercially viable in the, or... or um, more kind of encompassing in terms of how many audit how much audience they're going to garner with their kind of sound they've expanded their sound more and more with each album to kind of grab a wider audience uh with their music it's from their angela gasso days where it was kind of a little bit more of a niche or harder harsher sound in music when it was you know a uh, doomsday machine or something like that and for me the, this more commercial sound it's going to be a preference thing. There's going to be some people who just love this sound. For me, it loses some of the love th that I had for the band. Uh, just a little bit where it's like, well, I wish it was still heavy. And I wish it was still more niche. And I understand the pursuit of a band wanting, obviously, commercial success along with creative success. Uh, but to me, it just doesn't feel the same. That being said, and that whole thing aside... It's still a good song it's 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 kind of well written it's harsh it, it's kind of it goes for it in the style of music that they're doing if i can detach myself from the fact that this is arch enemy and put maybe another name on it i think i would quite enjoy this right off the bat it's just the expectation that you might have it's somewhere almost like when people heard load reload from metallica and the, the albums themselves and i'm going to defend them the albums themselves they're not bad 
They're not bad music. It's just, what the fuck is this from Metallica? This is not what I expected. And as much as some fans say where well, bands should be able to expand and do whatever the hell they want, I don't always think that's the truth. Like, you know, you can't just switch genres whenever you want because, for example, what if Lord of the Rings turned into a science fiction? It's an extreme example, but it's like, where well, I came here for fantasy, so why am I getting a science fiction? And sometimes I get that from bands where I came for a thrash metal album and I'm listening and it's like progressive poppy kind of a sound. And I'm not saying about this particular band in general. I've had this experience. I'm like, well, this is not bad music, but it's not what I'm used to or what I would have liked from this band. And that's where the fan base is starting shifting a little bit. And I'm sure it's a conscious choice on the band's part. But so far, I'm really liking it. I'm actually going to rewind it a little bit because I know there's going to be a change up in the song that's going to kind of have like, like a like a moshing moment. One hundred percent. This is why I'm gonna. I need to rewind this. I'm sorry, guys. I never rewind. I never rewind on this channel. But I really like this part. I thought it's a kick-ass part. That's the kind of stuff I love from them in their new old era, whatever the fuck era you want to talk about of our academy. I just love that from them, and they they are skilled musicians. They know how to write music. Uh, it just becomes a, a a thing of whether you like it or not. This particular song I really really like. I also want to mention a shout out to some hardcore fans that have come out to my archenemy uh comments and just blankly said you are wrong or you're stupid or you don't know anything uh i'm gonna mention that directly to you guys everybody can have an opinion and i respect your opinion just i would like you to kind of give some couple of seconds and respect mine i never gonna discredit any of these musicians i think they're all talented i might have my some issues with my vocalist that i, I have my certain opinions about her or i might have some opinion about the guitar, guitarist and drummer and you know the bass but I've always give my uh, respect where it's it's needed, uh, especially when when I enjoy a song from the beginning to the end. So I just wanted to give that little little insert there. Uh, let's just be nice, guys. Let's, there's there's no need to be rude. My only harsh criticism of this song would be the music video. I think the music video doesn't do anything. It doesn't tell a story. It's just a girl walking outside. You're trying to understand some kind of post-apocalyptic world. Uh, and probably some remnants of say, ideas that, that the director might have had. But it just doesn't come across very well. And when you see the, the footage of the band, I never like this. The, the 40 cuts, the constant cuts that you get, it's just, it's just visually annoying. Uh, so it's not very interesting to watch i don't think our channel ever had good music videos to be honest if i'm honest you know team most music videos are kind of like blonde uh i tend to enjoy something like from wind rose or fewer schwanz electric cowboy where people get creative with their music videos where this one's kind of like it's okay what i do appreciate is that you see more of the band in this music video then i i think there's there's sometimes an over focus on alisa 
Uh, and it's a nice to see the other band members in there. And it's not a, a call to her. It's not a nod like, oh, you suck. She's fine. It's like she's just doing her job. But sometimes I think the directors get a little bit over-concerned with the front woman or the front man. It's like, keep everybody else alive. We as fans, we want to see the other musicians. We want to see the guitar shred on the fucking guitar. I want to see the drummer banging his head as he's hitting the sticks. To me, that's all fun. Sometimes that's the thing that gets me most excited. Uh, and when you just focus on one person, and sometimes to me, it's, it's a clear indication of why they're doing because since she's an attractive, you know, beautiful woman, and they will focus on her and put that in the thumbnail, and people will click on it just because of that. Uh, and you're not going to fool me. That's the reason they do that. I, I, I'm a fan of music, and I'm a fan of everything else. I just want to see the whole picture. And she's part of it as everything else is, and it's just, I don't know. Hopefully I got my point across. Oh, that bass. As the sun sets on the empire, is there a future to be found? Hopes and dreams, no ashes on the ground. Yeah, I also enjoyed her voice the most in this song, uh, because she, I think she stayed on the growling, uh, where I think it suits her better than her clean vocals. Personal opinion. Just a personal opinion. I don't think her... Clean vocals are necessarily bad. I had, I think, an issue with whether it fit the genre of music, and obviously there's going to be people that enjoy, enjoy it either way. There's just some fans that just like everything a band produces, and if you criticize a band, you're no longer a fan. I happen to think differently. I think a true fan is able to see the positive and negatives for himself and point them out, but still be a fan. Uh, Slayer, I have a ton of criticisms, I can tell you. Right off the bat of my head, it's like 15. But I've always loved Slayer. They're always going to have a special place in my heart for what they've done to me as a teenager and been through the years with me for the heavy metal when I was listening to. Uh, I'd love to hear now the thoughts of fans, the thoughts of people who don't know our channel, bro, and maybe even the guys who don't like our channel, because there's some people that commented that as well. Your thoughts on this song, be honest, take a step back and tell me what you really thought of it. Uh, with that being said, guys, make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and most of all, Keep it metal.